I for the test you're done. We have this uh, latest eBay find. It seems to be quite unusual aircraft indicator panel. And it was shaped. So obviously we have a big uh, LCD display in the middle. We have a key on the group buttons. Power on off mode between acknowledge and test it seems. A dim uh, potentiometer for the uh, backlight I guess. And we have this uh, display with uh, ear indicators for altitude, speed, range and bearing. For some reason the uh, paint over this label is uh, damaged with uh, fingerprint. Maybe someone had uh, fuel or oil on the fingers and it touched the label and it damaged the paint over it. Quite interesting. So the case looks like this. Made by Jack Avionics Limited in Basildon, England. It is called uh, Airborne Display Unit. Model number here. I do not see... Uh, I am not sure this big number is a serial number actually. And the weight is not written also. The sticker looks uh, unusual. We, uh, it is more a sticker than a proper plate, manufacturer plate, uh, oddly enough. And also here, unidentified hole seems to be almost uh, for a jack or a microphone. Not sure. We have one connector here. So it is convenient because I can put it on the rear side. It is YouTube, YouTube friendly, this, uh, this thing, obviously. Uh, and the construction it seems to be made out of quite uh, thick aluminium plates. So, quite nice. I will now open it for you and we will discover what there is inside because I have absolutely no idea. Looks like we have captive screws. Yes. So you do not want to unscrew them too much because I do not know how they are made captive. Okay, and I have one more here at the back. Okay, this cover is coming. We have quite uh, thick aluminium cover made of uh, a machined aluminium piece it seems you can see the mill tool marks here and here is the first glance of what we have inside apparently uh, two circuit boards it seems all the buttons from the front and the wires with quite uh, unusual kind of connector. I will uh, undo the other side. So, so far we cannot really see what there is on the circuit boards. I am tested to know also the uh, backlight the LCD what it is, and how the LCD itself is constructed. If it is possible to read this part, I will take apart the LCD. Okay, other side is pretty much the same. So before I go, I go any further, I need to uh, keep track of uh, the connectors, where they go. some color marks like such
like this. Uh, oh, yeah, the black. Yes. Um, this. Here yeah, I do do we do two of them. Okay. And other side round. Two reds. So, uh, it looks like uh, this circuit board will slide out uh, from the back. So I will undo this back cover now. Oh, also I will mark this match up. Critical, but it will be easier for assembly. So we will have just boring stuff or any interesting uh, thing. Another one, I have no idea. One more screw, and uh, wow, guys, guys, look at that. Whatever this is. I have never seen something like that in real life. Yes, it seems to be super interesting. Even if it is the only interesting part, it is totally worth it. So I will undo the connectors. Uh, I am looking, I will need to uh, access via LCD, uh, undo the front uh, panels, it seems, uh, because the screws here are located behind. But for now, let's try to figure out how to undo these plugs. Okay, the smaller one here. So it is a unusual kind of plugs with uh, some uh, uh, spring metal things on the side to secure them. We have never seen this particular model before. So will this come out? It looks like no because we have here a heat sink with transistors which is secure to the side here. Seems to be interesting. First, uh, this particular board. Uh, no, it is not the correct remote control actually. It will be better with the camera remote control. So we have this board and no particular uh, information, model number or uh, function uh, information. The military grade ships. Uh, 
AD something here, so maybe analog digital converter. Gold top. Of course, your uh, sealed uh, wet tantalum capacitors. Super fine, super small teledyne relays here. Some uh, voltage regulators and transist power transistors, it seems. Trim pots. So, seems to be some kind of uh, intelligent control panel, indicator panel, this thing. And here we have, uh, this is interesting. We have an invert. Is it a typo? Is it an inverter for the backlight of the LCD? Uh, it is possible because this orange wire actually goes behind the LCD. Quite uh, unusual to have a typo on a military grade component. I was not expecting this. Okay, and uh, use the space here for one more IC, it seems. Uh, quite uh, this is uh, so well, it looks like a very small transformer. Okay, so this was the first PCB. We have now the second one, that will not come out. I need to find out first. I need to do the connectors. Maybe it will help. Anyways. Excuse me. This one is particularly long and it is not easy to remove. Even if the clips on the side are undone, okay. And this wall wire harness is coming out, it seems. I need to undo the last one here. Okay, and I will get rid of this because it is in the way of everything. Okay, and it is still not coming because of this. Look at this design fail here. This connector is totally catching against the uh, slide uh, guide on the side. Quite uh, weird. I will proceed and unscrew it. Me. Right. So you can see the thickness of the wall here. Five uh, millimeters or something like this. Quite uh, over engineered uh, case, it looks like. Okay, so this is now sliding out. We can get a better view from the inside here, but I will. Uh, and do it later anyways. So on this side of the PCB we have just uh, some bulge wire, uh, quartz oscillator, 12 uh, megahertz maybe. And here is this uh, interesting side. We have a dead code here of uh, 7787 on this sticker which is coming loose and look at this. It looks like we have an EPROM in here. We have uh, this device, which is a micro pack two. So it is a chip on a chip, it seems, or multiple chips on a ceramic base socketed. There is two other similar devices at the back, but given how rare it is, I do not want to risk damaging it and I will not undo it further but I guess this might be some kind of uh, 
all-in-one computer chip with uh, ROM, RAM, EPROM, I.O. maybe. I will research if there is uh, so any information available about this thing. But a really quite a nice surprise. I was not expecting this. And look here. Indeed, serial number 001. So, that is quite interesting, guys. I will replace this sticker to protect the EPROM. So, I need to research this thing. Must be quite uh, rare. And a lot of other ICs all around. Your regular mill grade ceramic ICs. A lot of bulges everywhere. Okay, now uh, we will uh, uh, try to uh, take apart the parts here in order to be able to access the LCD. But first, about this uh, unused hall here. Yes, it is an unused hall, nothing behind, no evidence of uh, anything was mounted and removed. So this is quite weird. An uh, aircraft, military probably aircraft panel having a hall like this, not used. Quite unusual, also quite unusual, this wire here it seems it did just uh, completely forget putting it in the wire loom because there is no reason i guess to have it uh, separate from the wire loom at least uh, until some point and there you can see it is actually glued here on the front panel with some kind of a diode in the path, quite uh, probably a bulge, quite uh, interesting. So I will now undo the front buttons and the at least, uh, yes, the two parts I need to undo here to access the uh, LCD. So I will undo uh, our dim button here. And the two rotary buttons. There are uh, regular metric uh, Allen heads here. No problem whatsoever. And in case you are wondering, yes, I can easily reinstall them in the same position because I see the marks of uh, set screws. number of little screws to undo to be able to pull out of the way the front uh, pieces here there is probably a built-in backlight so maybe it will disconnect directly not really sure Oh, I see wires going inside here. So it will be annoying because I will not be able to undo completely the, this part. Yes, here it is how it, how it looks like. So I will undo this panel here on the side for uh, it is not strictly necessary this one, but I will have better access, so I will do it. And reassembling everything obviously will require some more work, but I will do it off camera while the video is rendering. Okay, so you can see the side plate here quite uh, thick 
I do not want to break anything here, so I will just uh, reinstall one of the screws to secure it in position like this. And now for the other side, should be the same thing. So there's uh, just uh, one backing plate with uh, bulbs probably mounted in it. And then your uh, front uh, plexiglass plate as always. But given the screws here at the back seem to be really delicate. I do not know if yes. oh. It is only three screws, so maybe I can try to open it for you. Just to check what we have in here. So I need to get a smaller screwdriver. And they are not even tight, but they are turning loose. This one is not. Hmm. Seems to be glued by the paint, anyways. Yes, so no luck here. Yes, this one is turning loose by the way. And it is glued by the paint, so. Mm. Okay, we will not go any further for this. So I need to evacuate all the screws here. I can now access my two my hidden screw. So the goal here is to access the main uh, LCD area. First, maybe in order to clean it better because it was very dirty when I received it. Okay, this is completely out of the way. We have the uh, main uh, connector here, as you can see. I will reinstall one screw here. Now we can try to access our LCD. So we have obviously a number of scrolls all around. For my own convenience, I will undo the two connectors here. What I will probably do before uh, reassembly is uh, to uh, secure a little bit better this uh, loose wire here. It is quite weird they did not uh, include it in the wiring loom. Never way, so I will do. Uh, I will do cable lacing here. And it will be a little bit better. Also, maybe here, you can see, on here. Really, not the uh, best work. And here also, they could have uh, done it uh, further in the thing. I will maybe undo completely the connector and uh, finish the work because it is not done completely. Okay, so uh, we have here an English electric valve company type. Uh, 409M01 serial number P004 and we have a number of screws all around. Some of them are uh, secured with black paint for some reason but not all of them. So I will first undo the number not ones. ones okay it's just some uh, black paint but nothing serious preventing me from doing them before I forget one more look at 
d'accord. Il manque et un tour help me où il va son line. So really this is a quite uh, one of a kind panel. In particular considering the possible serial number 001 here. It's always quite a Russian roulette when you purchase such stuff and you have no idea what you will find inside. Maybe very interesting or very boring or even empty. It is already occur. So uh, this should lift off. Yes. Okay. Looks like we have. Uh, Testing. Let it come off this LCD. We have a number of layers here, but okay. Wow. We have uh, this separator. We have what seems, seems to be a uh, uh, EL backlight, a transmission backlight. Yes. Regular transmission backlight, dead code of uh, 1986 here, and for some reason there is two more wires going to the back of the LCD here, which is just connected by the zebra strips, but I am pushing on it and it is not uh, coming out, so I will not try any further, I do not want to break it. But is it a, possibly a touch screen or something like this? No idea because you do not need any extra connection for your EL backlight, I guess. And look at this here, I did not see this. Very beautiful uh, gold ceramic uh, ICs, probably uh, LCD controllers. Uh, with a surface mount. Uh, capacitors here, uh, as always we have uh, some of it on the other doors. One weird thing is the use of uh, what seems to be very regular on the ship zebra strips here and uh, not even uh, golden contacts here. So I guess it is why we have a number of screws all around to secure the zebra strips but it is not really uh, impressive this thing. They did not use uh, golden contacts, or they could have used better stuff like uh, golden uh, zebra strips. I have seen them in uh, Nokia Ericsson uh, mobile phones. They are much better quality. Uh, zebra strips with little golden uh, wires all the way around, making much better contacts than these carbon black things. Okay. So we have our four LCD driver chips here. About the uh, stuff all around here. Rotary selectors by Call and uh, ITW with nice uh, work here with the wires. You can see one more one potentiometer here and two regular chip uh, trees here. Okay, so uh, quite. Uh, Surprise about uh, I was not expecting an uh, EL backlight in here first. I was more expecting either little bulbs or uh, something more fancy like a cold uh, cathode light. But no, just uh, EL backlights. And I need to find a way to reinstall this properly. As you can see, quite uh, delicate. So really, really unusual uh, discoveries inside this thing, by the way. Quite happy with it. It was uh, 10 British pounds or 12, something like this. So not expensive and uh, completely worth it. Except uh, maybe for the, even with uh, damage front here, it is still completely worth it because of uh, this uh, Nice assembly here of our LCD, and of course, this awesome and unexpected micro pack module. 
very very nice so uh, I will now put all this um, back together so thanks for watching bye bye